So you've made it to step three. We're gonna go ahead and add our two-point perspective in the center and also add two-point perspective initials at the top. So all you'll need for this assignment in step three is an eraser, your white charcoal pencil, an HB or an F pencil. I'll be using a mechanical pencil. Ruler's optional and then your T-square. And then obviously the drawing you started before. So what you're seeing right now is step one and two together. I have step one underneath and step two is on top. I'll be adding two point perspective to this. Begin by locking your T-score along the bottom of the paper and then draw a line in the center to begin the front edge of your cube. I'll then turn my T-score upside down and connect MP1 to the bottom and MP1 to the top. Notice for my cube, I've only drawn enough to get the cube. So don't go all the way. Complete the steps going to MP2. Use your T-square to draw your two vertical sides. And then cross your opposite sides over and connect the right side to MP1. You have a square in the middle, you'll need to erase the extra. You'll then finish out the tiling around and then shade on the back. For this part of the drawing, I'll be putting two cubes above the horizon line. These cubes are going to go overlapping your picture plane and into the ceiling, and they represent the initial stages for your two initials. So I'll be doing that now. Begin by hooking your T-square on the bottom of the paper to identify the first line for your cube. You're going to connect the bottom and the top to MP1 and to MP2. When you connect this, you only need to go as far as to create a small side of that cube. I'll be doing the same for the right side. Use your T-square to connect up. Cross over your bottoms to opposite vanishing points. I now have a cube in the center and I'll just erase the extra. Do the same thing again to create the next cube. Because the bottom of this cube is gonna run into this line, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this line and redraw it after I finish my letter. I'll start off by drawing my letter on the fat side. Same thing here, this will be my last name. So I'll be doing a K here. Sometimes when I do this, I'll pre-sketch it out just so I can get the spacing correctly. and then use your T-square to get it accurate. So I now have a K on that side, and I'll need to put a Q on this side as well. Any lines that go this direction will connect to MP2. All the corners I'll freehand. For the K, I already can use this corner. I'll need to find this line going that way and this line going that way. For the inside line, it'll be parallel to this one, so I'll go ahead and just erase this since I don't need it. Then I'll need to find this one as it goes back to MP1. Let's do the Q. When you look at this area here and here, I'll be connecting a line from here to MP1 and here to MP1. That'll help get the curve. And then I'll need to find where this edge touches here and connect back as well. There's my cue, and then I'll erase the extra. Then I'll finish out my wall. Here's a completed drawing minus the shading. 